SpaceX has finally shown us a glimpse of the craft that will return humans to the lunar surface. With billions of dollars in taxpayer money hinging on the success of the Starship HLS, it remains to be seen if SpaceX can have the craft ready in time. Let's talk about the Starship human landing system, what its interior will look like, and the development of its latest prototype. SpaceX's Starship stands as one of the most remarkable achievements in human innovation. This colossal vehicle, spanning 120 meters, is engineered not only to transport satellites, but also to accommodate around 100 passengers per trip. This capacity is likely to expand in the coming years. Elon Musk holds a crucial role in the upcoming return to the moon, as SpaceX's Starship mega rocket launch is pivotal to NASA's plans. Unlike the Apollo missions, NASA's rockets won't directly take astronauts to the moon's surface. Instead, the crew will be sent into lunar orbit using NASA's Orion spacecraft, which will be placed atop its new space launch system, SLS. Meanwhile, Starship launching separately will serve as the lunar lander for the mission. At the mission's conclusion, Starship will facilitate the crew's return to the Orion spacecraft as they journey back to Earth. The crew will then leave Starship in lunar orbit. This demonstrates NASA's strategy of utilizing a rocket developed by SpaceX, commissioned by the agency, to enable humans to set foot on the moon once again, a feat not accomplished since 1972. The extent of NASA's reliance on Starship was apparent when Bill Nelson from NASA questioned Gwynne Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, about the potential impact of Elon Musk's Twitter acquisition on the agency's mission. Shotwell reassured Nelson that there was no need for concern, indicating that the mission's progress was secure. However, following the explosion during the first Starship orbital flight, NASA has expressed concerns about the readiness of SpaceX's ambitious Starship vehicle by the late 2025 target. Consequently, as SpaceX continues its efforts toward the next Starship test, the company is concurrently focusing on refining the design of the Starship human landing system. Last year, NASA published a new document that showcases images of SpaceX's prototype for the Starship lunar lander's elevator and airlock. SpaceX has stated its collaboration with NASA to ensure crew safety and optimal performance. The elevator has been designed to transport astronauts down to the lunar surface. The document comprises presentation slides with visuals of Artemis astronauts inspecting the elevator and airlock. One image is labeled Crew Cabin VR Evaluation, suggesting it's likely a virtual reality video simulator depicting the interior and operation of the Starship cabin. The document itself doesn't offer in-depth technical specifics about the system, except for mentioning the elevator needed to move between the crew cabin and the surface. Notably, this lander is quite tall and stands apart from the traditional landers we are accustomed to making it challenging to mentally align with past concepts. As discussions continue about interior designs, the contemplation of a Starship's interior opens up a wide array of possibilities. While earlier crewed space vehicles primarily focused on functionality, SpaceX's HLS Starship is aiming to strike a delicate balance between comfort and practicality. The goal is to offer abundant space and amenities, addressing any potential concerns of feeling confined or claustrophobic during the voyage to the moon and back. With this vision in mind, the Starship's interior boasts a sleek and futuristic design, characterized by a minimalistic aesthetic. Light-colored materials for the walls and floors contribute to an airy and bright ambience. The generously sized windows offer awe-inspiring views of space and Earth, enhancing the overall experience. Careful consideration has been given to lighting, resulting in a soft illumination that doesn't strain the eyes. In terms of passenger comfort, the Starship goes the extra mile. Reclining seats are available, offering adjustable settings for maximum convenience. The cabin is equipped with controls for temperature and humidity, ensuring passengers remain at ease throughout the journey. The air circulation system is engineered to minimize odors and provide fresh, breathable air, maintaining a pleasant atmosphere on board. Additionally, the Starship boasts an entertainment system comprising large screens capable of displaying a diverse range of content, from movies to interactive games. Moreover, the cabin is outfitted with a high-speed internet connection, enabling passengers to stay connected with the world throughout their journey. The interior design of SpaceX's Starship goes beyond aesthetics and comfort. It embraces cutting-edge technology. Given its capacity to transport a substantial number of people and cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and beyond, the interior is equipped with advanced technology to guarantee the safety and well-being of the crew. One of the noteworthy technological advancements within the Starship is its regenerative life support system. This system takes on the responsibility of generating and recycling breathable air, potable water, and other vital resources necessary for the crew's sustenance. This feature becomes especially crucial for extended missions like those to Mars, where resupply opportunities may be infrequent. Additionally, the Starship interior features state-of-the-art communication and navigation systems, which are integral for maintaining crew connectivity and ensuring accurate course navigation. These systems are equipped with redundant backups to uphold crew safety and mission success. Furthermore, the SpaceX Starship interior design harnesses other advanced technologies, including 3D printing and component manufacturing. This approach results in quicker and more efficient production, ultimately reducing the spacecraft's weight and cost. In a recent development, 
NASA will be relieved to know that SpaceX has finally started working on a prototype for the HLS. In the past, the existence of an unusual tank at the Starbase had sparked curiosity among observers, leading to speculation that it could potentially be a prototype for the crew cabin of the human landing system. After staying concealed in the mid-bay for a while, on August 12th, this mysterious structure unveiled itself in its entirety, thereby confirming the theories that had been circulating. This test piece was crafted from a combination of intriguing elements. It began with an S-22 nose cone, minus its forward flaps. As if that wasn't unusual enough, workers then added a cutout that resembled a door to its unfinished part. Following this, an intriguing white dome emerged, accompanied by a deck-like structure featuring a central opening. Subsequently, these two parts were meticulously joined together. What's particularly noteworthy is that the section beneath the heat tiles was painted black. However, as time progressed and weeks turned into months, the prototype remained enigmatic, not revealing any external hardware modifications. Everything took a significant turn on August 12th, adding to the mystery. As the prototype was unveiled, a panel equipped with valves and electrical connections became visible on its underside. And just when it seemed that things couldn't become more perplexing, a sticker boldly proclaimed HLS, further heightening the intrigue surrounding this prototype. Contrary to expectations, the prototype didn't head to the launch site or Massey's testing area, nor did it find its place in the rocket garden. Instead, it deviated from the usual path and made its way to the payload processing facility, finding a poised position on a fresh concrete patch. As for its undisclosed details, they continue to remain shrouded in mystery, leaving observers to ponder its purpose and significance. Considering its extended period in the mid-bay, it's possible that this nose cone might serve as a comprehensive mock-up of the lunar starship interior. This could potentially include life support systems and multiple crew cabins, providing an in-depth representation. On the other hand, it could also be a vacant tank, waiting for its interior components to be installed near the payload processing facility. Ultimately, only time will unravel the true purpose and nature of this intriguing prototype. Nevertheless, SpaceX has more immediate concerns to address before delving into the realm of the HLS. For the prototype to hold any significance, the Starship must successfully attain orbit in the first place. Once orbit is achieved, the evaluation of the heat shield on the ship becomes paramount, necessitating an actual re-entry profile. However, this stage can't be executed until Super Heavy and its Raptor engines can consistently achieve stage separation, an aspect that the initial flight highlighted as needing further refinement. The challenges don't diminish beyond this point. The reliability of both Super Heavy and the Starship's recovery must be established. As a reusable rocket system, ensuring their retrieval is crucial. Notably, the Super Heavy is anticipated to be captured using catch arms on the launch tower, an audacious concept that just might prove successful. Subsequently, SpaceX is tasked with developing a tanker version of the Starship. This variant will be used to demonstrate cryogenic propellant transfer in space, an unprecedented feat. Moreover, the construction of an in-space depot with minimal propellant boil-off is another pioneering endeavor, marking another first in spaceflight history. Amidst all these endeavors, the Lunar Starship prototype must also undergo construction, flight, and testing on the Moon. This process must occur well in advance of the crewed Artemis landing. Moreover, this cycle will need to be repeated for the crewed landing. A rigorous and intricate journey lies ahead for the Starship, and while the craft has shown a lot of promise, it remains to be seen if it will fulfill its potential as the greatest deep space transport ever constructed. What do you think? Can the Starship be ready in time for the Artemis lunar landings? Please let us know in the comments below.